About a year ago, I posted a Harbor Freight planer review video in which I discussed how I was mostly satisfied with the quality and the value of the machine. I didn't expect the video to get a whole lot of traffic, but it turns out a lot of people have this planer in their sites, so quite a few people posted comments posing some fairly good questions about the planer, and it seems like you guys want to see another video about how it's doing a year later. So far, I'm really happy with the planer, but it is worth mentioning that I don't own a cabinet shop, and as a matter of fact, I'm not a professional woodworker to any degree. I really just bought the planer for doing small tinkering projects around the house. Most of the stuff is CNC related, but I do some custom woodworking, mostly just for myself, so it's really nice to have the planer around the house for doing stuff like that, so I don't have to take it somewhere else, and I don't have to pay somebody to make custom things for me. For me, the biggest use for this planer is making custom signs in which I really need the surface to be as consistent as possible for the engravings to come out right. And so that's where my bread and butter is with this planer. And it works really well for that application. But as YouTube is, I get a lot of comments of people saying, you know, I would really like to see you running some hardwood through this and see how it performs. And the wood that I used for making the gears for my son, that was some pretty hard wood and it performed pretty well. But, you know, I figured I would try out some oak. So I went out and picked up a piece of oak, as you guys requested, six inches by six feet long, three quarters of an inch thick, and I planed it down to three eighths of an inch. So I threw away $16 worth of wood in the process. But I figure this is for you guys. You guys help me out. So I'll do what you guys ask me to do sometimes. And I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be calling me cheap for complaining about throwing away $16 worth of wood. But let's face it, if you guys are considering buying a Harbor Freight planer, you're probably a little bit cheap yourself because if you're willing to spend more money, you probably wouldn't be looking at this one. So I'm going to call that a regular pot and kettle type situation. Anyway, moving on. This thing actually performed really well. The surface of the oak, I had literally do not have a complaint about. I'm not going to call it perfect, but it is a very, very good quality surface for the amount of money that I spent on the planer. I don't think I have any right to complain about this. Of course, like I told you guys, I'm not really a woodworker, so after I got done with the oak, I didn't really have anything to do with it. So I guess I'll start making some trinkets. So I drew up a little Christmas tree in AutoCAD, and I made a tool path for a contour function and decided to cut it out. Ended up pretty cool, but it's not really useful for anything. One of the questions I always get is, are the blades replaceable? And are they double-sided? So it turns out that the blades are replaceable and they are double-sided. So if you end up damaging the blades that come with it, you're able to flip them around and keep using it without buying new blades. And if you do need new blades, you're able to pick them up from Harbor Freight. I think they're in the neighborhood of 25 bucks. So it's not too bad. And you're going to be able to keep the machine running for longer. Full disclosure, I purchased this planner fully intending on it breaking within the first year of me owning it, and that's why I purchased the warranty. The Strange Garage just happens to be pretty hard on tools. So, the fact that it hasn't broken, and I don't actually have any real complaints with it, that kind of speaks to the quality of the build. And granted, it is definitely not a professional quality tool, but for somebody like me, who's just a hobbyist, this thing has been tremendously helpful in just completely transforming the look of reclaimed boards and making them usable again for my application. So I honestly don't have enough good things to say about it. Normally when I do a tool review, I like to preach something I call reasonable expectation. For the amount of money that you're spending and the manufacturer you're buying from, what can you reasonably expect in terms of longevity and quality? So a $100 Harbor Freight welder, you can't really expect as much as you would get out of a $500 Miller or Lincoln. With this, obviously it's a little bit more expensive, but it's still about half of what you'd get for a DeWalt planer. So what can you reasonably expect in terms of longevity and quality? And the truth is, is I don't have a single reasonable complaint because not only has it not broken, the quality has been everything I ever needed and honestly, it wasn't that expensive. And the truth is, is that the views that I got on that last video, it paid for the planner. So thank you for watching it. That really benefited me. Most of the time, my videos don't even come close to paying for the projects. So I was pleasantly surprised there. But if you were to spend more on a planner, what would you really be getting? Because you can get a larger planer, which you're definitely gonna be paying more for. But if you got one the same 12 and a half inches, then you spent double, what are you getting? For an amateur, you're getting basically nothing, unless you happen to get one of these that's broken, which is exactly why I recommend getting the extended warranty, because they're going to be able to replace the unit for you, no additional cost, and you're still only paying half as much. 
Uh, a lot of people think that I'm sponsored by Harbor Freight, and that is not true. Not even close. There's been plenty of tools that I bought from them that I've chosen not to do a review on because they're garbage. There's quite a few things I bought from Harbor Freight that basically ended up straight in the trash can. I only review the things that I'm happy about or that I have a reasonable original thing to bring to the conversation, something that some other YouTuber or some other poster hasn't already said. So I think this is a great planer for the money. And unfortunately, they don't really do the 20% off coupon anymore. I've seen them for 15% on this planer specifically, so keep an eye out for that if you're still looking for it. But honestly, it's worth the money regardless. Just get the warranty. That's my number one recommendation. Anyway, Strange Garage has an Instagram page now. I'm starting to get the whole internet thing figured out. So you can follow me at strange.garage. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. I'm just gonna be doing little snapshots of projects that I'm working on, so you're not gonna get the long, drawn out videos that you normally get on YouTube. Just get little clips, keep you guys entertained a little bit. And anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and thanks always for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.